Hey, welcome to this video. Hey, my name is Wolf, and hey, thank you so much for checking out my content. Now, this Bangor Network BNT price prediction for 2022, and is it still worth buying in 2022? That's the, that's the burning question, and today we are going to find it out. Okay, the first thing that I'm about to share with you is I love that the max supply basically this means that all the um, tokens are in the circulation. Like you can see, the circulation supply is 20, uh, 251 million, and max supply is 251 million. So all the tokens are in circulation. Love to see that. The second thing that we have here is the market cap 210 million. Total value locked is um, 374 uh, million, which is which is huge. So it's, it indicates that it's 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 a little bit undervalued in my opinion right now. However, the bear market is coming. So and we are currently in it. So we are currently at one dollar range. Um, the margin of safety is definitely starting to pick up here. Um, so in 2018, it went all the way at ten dollars, and then we have, then we had the uh, in the bear market with low was fourteen cents. So right now we are, so one dollar range here. So if it still has, it still can go ninety percent down. So I think it's not the margin of safety is not quite there, but at the same time, if you really think about it, the project has evolved tons from here. Like in a couple of years right now, it has evolved tons. There's tons of more TVL and users. So, you know, I think, I think it's fair enough right now under eight, like 80 cents. It's getting to that range that I think that if you want to buy a piece, if you want to buy a, a diversify and just, you know, buy a fat bag, I mean, might as well right now, right? Um, yeah, I haven't bought BNT yet. It's not part of my portfolio right now. I have tons of peaks that I'm going to pick up here in the bear market, but it's it's a very good one so grow your boy bags earn safe DeFi yields on your favorite tokens okay so this is only a single token 100 percent uh, impairment loss protection which is pretty crazy so single side staking deposit one token stay exposed to one token earn with 100 percent upside exposure so earn with the only disandrous protocol that protects you from impairment loss so what is impairment loss? Out the compounding interest earned on banker is automatically reinvested. Out the company new gains. Out it for safety battle tested with billions traded per month. 96% DeFi safety core and out it six times. So growing network developers, traders and liquidity providers participate together in a financial marketplace and it's open and accessible for all. So we have Nexus Mutual. Okay, we have Yuma. I just did a video about that one. We have Sheesh here. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff from finance. These are projects that are invested in a by um coinbase we have barn bridge woo down maker here okay very interesting so yeah so that's that so um okay so this is weird the website is booging for me that is a weird one definitely i don't like that i see that i do not like to see that uh let's look at the portfolio okay so i need to connect my wallet of course but anyway so yeah Here's more about interparent loss. So uh, when DeFi was built, most trading pairs were a pool of two tokens. Okay, so I I did that in the bull market. I made crazy money, but tons of people lost money. So that's why I am uh, so automated market makers. Liquid providers are required to deposit two tokens in a 50-50 value ratio of liquidity pool. So basically, if you have 50-50% on tokens, and for example, you have Ethereum and USDC. So if Ethereum drops from $1,000 to $500, your $1,000 stake on USDC will drop to $500. Basically, you lose double lose <laughs> scary stuff so when tokens change in the price rebalancing costs the pool to sell the token that is rising in price and you end up with less of the rising token and more of a failing token so the legacy AMS are selling tokens to perform better so over the time costs come to the value of pool tokens to be worth less than if you simply held the two assets in your wallet for example yeah that's the basic deal so the the uh, this uh, this help with the impairment loss okay so that's basically the point of Bancor and here you can see so let's let's actually look at here so total liquidity 333 a lot of it staked top performing is die here so you can earn 10% which is uh pretty insane so estimated APR based on last one okay so you can see it's pretty crazy I don't know what this was oh my god no please the, oh no no dog tokens please no more no more dog tokens please we have engine here pretty cool we have rocket pool uh i don't know this one we have zero x okay it's pretty good so i think the banker is very good um uh, it's, it's been battle tested like it says and it's been here for a long time so you know if, if it goes lower like think about if it goes to like 
like 20 cent range or even 30 cent price i mean that's just free money in my opinion if you just buy it and just hold it i mean that's it so i'm definitely looking so balance around bank or uh, I was, I'm losing. I'm looking at uh, ba Bancor and Balancer. Both are at the very low, like. I think it's very, very uh, smart people are, you know, building positions on these ones. However, right now we're in the the market conditions not not the best, so I'm still looking at it. So not part of my portfolio right now, but I'm probably going to add it in the future. Huge project. If you want to see uh, how uh, like I'm making money and my peaks and portfolio, you can check out the first thing in the description. See there. Uh, thank you so much for watching and peace out.